traffic backed up for miles on the 15 freeway hours after an Amazon Prime delivery truck caught fire. And cameras were rolling as the flames tore through the truck, leaving nothing behind but an empty shell. Our 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky is monitoring the traffic conditions and how to get around the mess. But we begin with 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco, who is live along the 15 in Miramar Way. Rachel. Yeah, this really is a nightmare of a commute for drivers. And take a look. This is why you can see that burned out semi still in the middle of the freeway. In the last few minutes, crews have been inside the trailer. They're trying to hook it up to uh, eventually tow it out of here. But take a look at the backup. It is miles long. A little bit of progress and that the three lanes on the northbound side are open now. But again, at this time of day, the backup just stretching for miles on the northbound side and the southbound side also slow with people slowing down to try to get a look. This happened hours ago, just before 1.30. Frustrating and frightening for drivers. David Lopez was just a few lanes away. You can hear the panic in his voice. The fire quickly consumed the semi. Drivers also heard an explosion from the truck's gas tank getting ruptured. The CHP says this happened when the Amazon Prime semi hit another truck that was parked on the shoulder about a mile south of here. That sparked the fire. At one point, there was nearly a mile of fuel on fire on the freeway. The flame shot so high, the Miramar Way exit sign burned. Fortunately, both drivers got out okay. It's unclear what caused the one driver to lose control. Of course, you hear Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime this type of year, and you think holiday gifts, but the CHP confirms that the truck was empty. Again, they're trying to clear this out as quickly as possible, but traffic is expected to be extremely bad for hours. Reporting live along the 15 near Miramar, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. Rachel, thank you. And as we take another live look at the scene on the 15, 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky is in the live center with a look at some of the worst spots experiencing that bumper to bumper traffic. Yeah, Kim and Steve, the 15 is really bad right now. I want to take you now to another live picture from Sky 10 so you can see uh, kind of an overview effect. You see they've got the trucks out there with the arrows directing people around. You see how fast drivers look to be going. It's uh, about 15 miles an hour in that area. You see there are a couple lanes open. I want to bring you now back here inside the 10 News Live Center so we can get a quick check here on traffic. This is the 10 News traffic tracker. You see these popping up. That's the area. That's right there along the 15 where it's bad. You see all the red. So now this is affecting two freeways. It's not just the 15 where we know traffic is backed up for miles, but now it's also backing up on the 163, backing up all the way to Claremont, because you see these two kind of feed into that area, and a lot of people taking this instead. I'm getting some information now from my producer who just got off the phone with CHP with an alternate route. You can use the 5, take the 5 to the 56, and go north if you want to avoid all this, which I'm sure you do if you're getting on the road right now. So that information coming in from Highway Patrol, take the 5 to the 56. You see it looks a lot better on the map than the 15 and the 163 because now we know two highways being backed up because of all this. Guys, we'll have another check on this here in just a bit. Back yeah. to you. Looks like no easy way right now. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Thank you, Brian.